Howdy folks, it is Lance090 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. So, it's been a really long time since I played last. <laughs> I couldn't find any time to pay over this last week, so... I don't remember exactly what we were doing. I know we were working on getting this vehicle fixed up. I think I need more frames was maybe the next step here. Because there's a few places that are still missing frames and things. I don't think I can install a trunk here, which is what we're looking for. We need regular steel frames. I think all we've got here are light frames, yep. So I've got the table in. Really, I've just got the two spots. Actually, I could even pull these out and put cargo here. Just to be honest, you kind of need to do it. Alright, so... With all this in mind... It's our sit rep here. Me and my bow. Me and my machete. Fiddling torch, bottle jack. I think I need the crowbar. We're not going to go into a building, I don't think. Trying to carry less things around that I don't need to, you know? Reeves. Go grab our toolbox, which I think is here. Somewhere down here. And we should be good because we decided we didn't need the hacksaw anymore. So if we grab this, we'll be able to go out and try to find. I think our music's a little bit too loud here. about there's good. It's hard to tell, because I think it comes out quieter for you guys than it is to me. It's hard to set up properly, because I set everything on, like, my computer, so, like, the main sound on Windows I set to 100%. I'm watching a YouTube video or something, I'll turn that up to 100%. So I check inside the sound settings, make sure everything's at 100%. So basically all that leaves is I set my sound level by the dial on the device itself. Which means it's not something that I can objectively test. It's just something I have to figure out for myself. I got a bug in here. It's summertime, so we're going to start seeing bugs in here all the time, which is going to be annoying. Yeah, I don't think there's a particular vehicle I'm looking for here, just check for something. I think these chicks are multiplying. Possibly just this vehicle right here. Should have regular old-fashioned frames. zombies around here. It's a little annoying. Thought we had taken care of all the zombies at this point. That's not what I wanted. Would like to wear these and wield the machete, please. This house burning down doesn't come over to reach us. That kind of annoying. Door spaces are pretty good to pull out here, it seems like. We 
pulling this part would split the vehicle. The heck? What? Tarnation. And okay, no, let's pull these front parts off. How many frames we got? Four. So let's see. That should do it, I think. I think four is exactly the number we need. Oh yeah, the vehicles though are really annoying now. I forgot. Sort of like, uh, even though it fits in the leaders, the weight like can collapse these vehicle parts. Actually carry more steel frames than I thought I could. Scissor jack is nowhere near as good as the bottle jack, right? Yeah. Alright, I just thought I'd do it. This is six. That is until the vehicle decides to randomly get stuck, because it does that. We need to just do this. Kind of too late for that now. We should have done it ages ago, but... <laughs> this ought to help us figure out where we need to step exactly. in that path there. Okay. Let's keep on heading home. Our strength must have gone up to be able to carry this much. I don't think we used to be able to carry steel frames at all. But the, well, that might have been the heavy duty frame I'm thinking about. in there. Arc welder, please. Let's remove the internal door. Trunk in there. <laughs> you can walk on the trunks, so like we might as well. Welder. Oh yeah, we're really good on battery now. trunk. Might actually be able to get everything in here. Well, it might collapse the vehicle. <laughs> Just having enough storage space is one thing. Being able to carry all the weight is another. This thing is silly. But it's just what the doctor ordered. We'd kind of like to pull these out and replace them with curtain windows so they can see out the back 
that way if we well, we have lost our uh, like we can't see behind us in this vehicle Oops. all right dude oh we got The cranberry juice, why not? There we go. Okay. Next step is going to be to repair things. I wonder what it does take to install the windows and stuff. Let's just work on repairs for a bit. We can we can weld and not lose power. That's awesome. That kind of makes me think that maybe they increased how strong solar panels are, because at some point they weakened them, and it had to be like you'd had to have like a whole entire truckload of like upgraded solar panels in order to have enough power. But that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. But it used to kind of be like this, where you could just. Spam it. Great <laughs> system we do not care about at all. Or it's not necessarily needed there, but there's no reason to get rid of it either. It's good to have multiple ways out, other than just in the front, you know? I don't have enough solar cells or electronic skill to repair the solar panels, that's okay. Replace that frame, and repair it again. Very hungry. Eh, we're not really hungry though, we just ate. We're starting to get that fake hungry again. Not actually fake hungry. It's just the dumb way that the thing works out. Like we've eaten enough calories to get by for the day. Just our stomach is empty. broken stuff here. Huh, can't even repair the storage battery. I thought I was pressing the wrong key, but I'm pressing R to repair and it's not coming up. Sorry, little storage battery. Not much I can do about that. I don't know why exactly. I guess repairing repairing a battery with an arc welder is probably not the best idea. These corner pieces are fine to repair. It's just these back three that I might not mess with. 
fact, I actually want to remove this back up deeper. The frames are fine. The frames can be repaired. It's probably just the boards. I might need to remove the roof too, I'm not sure. Uh, we probably don't have sheets of glass or anything around though. Should probably try to bring some more stuff in. Take my detergents. I think I already took our soap. space we have on the remaining containers. This one could probably take the detergent. <laughs> That's the pile that's gonna be interesting. This is the one we wanted to work with, with canning and uncanning. I'm not sure it's worth the doing, though. Even though we did all the work to make it happen. Some empty containers. Did we determine that all of this was useless? Did I leave it all here on purpose? I believe so. I believe I sorted through all that. Stuff here. Is there anything here that I think I'm gonna need? Gas mask, possibly. Wait, our heavy survivor mask does that, right? No, we have the firefighter EVA. We don't need that. Tactical backpack may be useful. Chest rigs and ammo pouches and stuff can sometimes be used in recipes. Same for the molly pack. Attack vest, utility vest. Let's see, this one's in better condition. It just has to be refit. Bandolier, the ABC suit. I'd like to take the empty ballistic vest, but that's okay. Uh, this stuff's fairly non important, so it's gonna go uh, up front. I don't really need to be able to reach it in a hurry. Let's see, over here. Yeah, that's just good. For the most part, we want all the guns, but there's something to be said for just taking one of each. Assuming an icon pops up with something's been fouled, I think it's like an underscore or something. So I don't think it matters which ones of these we keep. But, uh... Others. Doesn't really look like it. 
all, the, all these Glocks just handguns? I imagine so, but all the 19s are the same. Love those, though. Those reload on the magazines, reload the block. Or oh, wait, actually, we need to check that. Guns that use like the same ammo type. Have to lean in here just to see. So much nonsense here. to compare these guns. Block 17 has a little bit less recoil. It's really the only difference. That's kind of silly. Okay. Well, it makes it easy though. The 17 is better, right? <laughs> 17. For some reason. I think the one with the bigger number would be better, but not always how this kind of thing works. Oh, we actually don't even know if we want to keep the Glock because we have this other pistol too. The 9C. It's more damage, less recoil. have as many rounds, but tends not to matter with pistols as much in this game. So, okay. Actually, this uses 9mm as well. So let's drop our uh, iron greaves for warming us up. To, to do. Alright, so the high C was better than the like, 17, so let's look at the Beretta. Beretta has a little bit more range, a little bit less recoil. So you're probably better then. Everything else here. Is there anything else that's 9mm before I start loading the gun up? Does not appear so. Oh, there's more 9mm ammo here, though. Might as well get it all grouped together. Check. Is that good? Reload. There we 
we go. Basically doing some escape from Tarkov right now, getting our guns all sorted. We're all out of time for this one, so we'll continue this in the next one. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember to like button, keep the conversation going in the comments, and subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, hope you have a good day.